This Vault Hunters episode is wild. We finally reach level 20, which means no more beginner's grace. Oh boy. We unlock a bunch of mods, spend a load of skill points, run our first level 20 vault, and most excitingly, we make the most powerful tool in Vault Hunters yet. So without any further ado, grab a cup of tea or whatever beverage you enjoy, sit back and enjoy the video. As you can see, we're currently level 19 and just racing two and a half bars. That means in between videos, I may or may not have been running a couple of vaults, if this pile of crates was not an indicator enough. Now before we can get to actually doing all those things, we need to get through all of this loot. Now that would normally take quite a while, but I have already been kind of sorting it between what is exciting slash important and then not so much. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are these two bottom <laughs> chests right here. As you can see, there are a bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of vault suites, you know, the usual stuff, the, the stuff that is not super important. I, I guess the bounty pools are kind of important and the uh, burger parts and also the uh, 65 vault diamonds. But other than that, it's all right. And before we continue, actually, I suppose I should probably dispose of this right off the bat. I like having my surroundings clean. We'll just go ahead and add all of this to our storage. Lovely. We now have 121 vault diamonds. That's not too bad. But if you think that's something, just wait and see what's in this chest. Ooh, never mind. We have 157. But yeah, just wait and see. But first, it's time for a little bit of a nap. Never mind. It's time to watch the sunset and then take a nap. There we go. And as you can see, the uh, the vault rock has actually spread a little bit down here in the cave. And also chains have started growing. Very interesting. Thing. Anyway, this is the important chest because look at this. I don't think you're actually ready for this, but here we go. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. First of all, we have a ton of different jewels, which I will get to in a second. We got a sour, sour, sour can't speak. We got a sour orange, which actually adds 60 seconds to the vault timer and 18 sweet kiwi. That's huge. On top of that, we got actually not that much unidentified gear. We got two wands and then this stuff down here. However, look at all this. We have 25 electric sand right uh gems but we have over one and a half stacks of ben type and half a stack of black opal plus all of these other ones right here and if everything goes according to plan right now you should be seeing some footage from one of the vaults that i ran and you will actually see that i found one of the ore rooms i actually found two or three of these and well the results are not too bad wow we have a lot of larima now now i think i'm going to actually wait with identifying uh these things right here until we We've actually opened up the crates because I'm sure we'll get more unidentified stuff. Now back at here we have 19 relic booster packs and an unidentified relic fragment, which I'm going to open right off the bat. Ooh. Okay, so that is from the dragon relic, and I have my secret chest back here. Uh, Twitch minor elemental, so that's a new collection right there. Let's see if we get anything from the relic booster packs. Oh, we get one and two, three. Okay, I did not expect to get this many, and it's raining. Why? Anyway, that is from the cupcake relic, which uh, we already have one but that is two to the cupcake relic set and then we have an azar something that i cannot pronounce interesting that's another one that we don't have yet and i can't sleep through it that's lovely oh hello what do you got absolutely nothing well he did actually give me a couple of leather and also two leads i suppose that might be useful for something now moving forward we got a mystery x that's super exciting but look at this two and a half stack of knowledge essence that's a lot now we do only have four knowledge essence in here however we already have seven knowledge shards and if we go ahead and combine all of these we get 25 in total not bad we'll get back to that and rain is gone phew that only took a couple of minutes anyway where were we right we also got an unidentified rare plus vault totem together with an unidentified magnet epic plus that's good because i think i need a new one we also have a bunch of different focuses a bunch of blessings and two uh chest scrolls one gilded and one ornate and a bunch of coins i mean look at this that's a lot of coins right there and then of course we have a bunch of jewels. Right, we have a bunch of different ones. And now we can remove this chest. Now here's one thing that I did in between videos as well. You see, some of these jewels are going to be pretty big, like 86 size uh, coin affinity jewel. Coin affinity is really good, but that size is quite horrible. And so there's this thing, the jewel cutting station, where you use silver scrap and vault bronze, and then you can basically, uh, for a little bit of harsh, try and chop down a jewel. However, it can also go very badly. Uh, and then you get a gemstone and and would I gems back in turn. Now living a oh, whoa, 60 size living affinity. Ooh, have that? Ooh, 11 size. Ooh, those two are really good. Like this one, 76 size gilded affinity. We could potentially cut that down, and we just did by 
a very small size and we can keep going and oh how unfortunate <laughs> you get the point it's a bit of a gamble but if you are successful enough then well they could have some, uh, some winners anyway the jewels will become important later because if we take a look in the tool station currently we can make these however the next tier of tools requires level 20 and will be reaching level 20 today now they're great i'm very excited for this i'm just going to open all of them and i'm going to pick it all up and we'll see what we get so here we go we have a bunch of bounty ones and we have some um, quest completion ones and oops i accidentally uh, did a sword oh, okay this is a lot more than i expected to get um so someone help right i suppose we can put away the jewels here we got some more opal and some more pain knight and a bunch of jewels um oh boy <laughs> this is a lot a lot more than what i was expecting to get all right there we go i got everything 25 volt gold okay we ha we have a lot of gold now and a lot more jewels again will become relevant later and we have a single mystery box what will it be oh <laughs> a single emerald <laughs> yay oh yeah yeah i have a part and you may be wondering how i actually got this part no i didn't craft it it was a black market thing and i think i have some footage which i will show right now because it was just too big of a moment not to get so yeah we have a park now right then that was a lot of loot now the next thing on the quest line to do list is to make the soul diffuser now that is something i wanted to do in the last video however i wasn't able to but now we should have everything that we need in order to make this thing right here except that i need more chromatic steel so i'll just go ahead and grab this and i should have a bunch of uh, raw carbon as well and go ahead and just grab it like so and then i believe the recipe is yep just like that not bad and then grab four of black opals that we got make it into a perfect black opal and then we should get one black chromatic steel ingot that it's a little bit expensive but this thing is definitely worth it now we need a soul campfire and we need two soul shards now i actually don't have any soul sand which is interesting so that means we're going down here now where would one find uh soul sand oh boy wait i see something we have do, don't we have soul sand soil near here no okay well off i go man this is bright okay i thought that would be soul soil it is not it's just gravel looks like i might have fly for a bit aha look at this i had a feeling i should go this way oh yeah here we are i land on that without using another level of dash yes but to our destination love it time to get a bunch of this don't want to come back here in the foreseeable future <laughs> right now i just gotta go back home again which is uh, this direction actually it wasn't too far away from the portal not bad now that was a very tiring journey so i think i'll just yeah take a quick nap and then go ahead and make a soul campfire and finally make the soul diffuser and with that we have completed the quest which will reward us with 256 soul shards now the vault soul diffuser is a very cool block i really love this thing because it may look simple but you know all these things that basically are not useless as such but things that we don't really use well we can feed it to this thing and while it is slow it converts it into soul dust and soul dust can then be used to be uh to be turned into soul shards so all of a sudden also this is just a cool animation like who wouldn't want this so that all of a sudden makes these quote unquote useless items into useful things now, i don't actually know if this is doable is it possible to cover things in it is so this can be automated however i probably don't want this too close to my main living area but now i could in theory take this and then boom six extra soul shots it is a small amount but again we can just dump the useless stuff in there and well there we go but i'll definitely be setting this up elsewhere it, it, it makes a lot of noise that I, I like that corner i'll transform it a little bit because i really want to now identify this stuff right here but there is a quicker way than doing it manually and that is the identification stand which is the next quest thing the identification stand is a block that when right clicked it will identify all unidentified volcano inventory instantly and we actually get some stuff here okay and getting one of these actually is fairly cheap we just need to get a bunch of stuff things that i definitely 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 do have right so far so good and now i need an identification tone which apparently you can hold it in your off hand to instantly identify vault gear so i guess that's a, a tear off from doing it in your head and it's just like a slot machine basically so that is quite cool didn't know that existed very soon it will become not useless but kind of useless now i just need obsidian which should be easy enough that many do i need two yeah 
Ah, okay. Careful, Jeep. It's not particularly safe. But with the obsidian acquired, we can now make the the identification stand. And if it was for this chain, I would put it there. But that chain is kind of uh, fine for now. So in theory, well, it's not really a theory. It's a fact. If I take all of this stuff in my inventory and then go ahead and right click this. Oh yeah, now that's sick. <laughs> right, well, let's take a look at the stuff. Uh, sword 14 attack. I mean, that is almost better than my current one. And if we could get even more attack damage on that, but we do have extra attack range and chaining that. Okay, I kind of like that. Gotta keep that there. I'm actually going to can this. I need. Hold on, I don't know if this is actually doable, but I'm assuming it is. Ah, it has to go in for the top. Okay, 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 okay. Makes sense. Make there we go. Not as pretty, but more functional. Now I can take all this stuff back. Now I think first off, I'm going to be looking at the ones because I'm not really oh, soul chance. That's a lot of soul chance. But I don't think yeah, none of these ones really interest me. So I can just go ahead and add all that. And it's gonna go through and all the stuff is going to go right into the chest. I love it. Alright, next we have a shield here, which I need to pair to my current one. More block chance, but I love the thorns and extra health. So still no no shield can really uh, replace my current one. Now my magnet has some competition. That's a lot more range. And it's soul bound. Vel velocity is fine. And it has yeah, yeah, uh bye bye. <laughs> This magnet is awesome. Let me just real quick go ahead and get that. Yeah, that's that's much better. So let's take a look at the weapons here. This 14 attack damage has me curious. This as well. Actually, no, it's this one is better. And the axe, I don't really do axes, so that's fine. Now, we do have the Vault Totem, which gives us extra mana, tennis affinity, and uh, maybe if we, like, re-rolled a bunch. But no, I, I, don't, I don't want that. I don't want any of this. The sword, maybe, if we could get it to like yeah something like that i don't mind the mm, the illegit damage is a little bit eh, but still slowness cloud not bad actually this is actually really good uh dare i dare i go again okay illegit damage another damage attack range nope i definitely want at least oh this is getting expensive yikes and i can't do it anymore uh, i should have i should have stopped what it was for come on okay that's even better okay it's extra durability i don't mind that that's 20 attack damage and extra illegit damage i think that that is better than my current one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, old sword. Goodbye. I, I have a new one. And I'll just go ahead and add looting to that nice thing. Unless it's yellow or blue, I don't think I'm going to consider it. Yes, because other stuff has a lot of other cool stuff. Right, the boots are not an upgrade when it comes to armor. I could reroll the prefix and the suffixes, but I don't think that's really worth it. Not a worthy upgrade. We have two, three, sorry, three chest plates. So let's take a look at the helmet first. That's seven armor. That's extra health and resistance. This would be an upgrade. That's eight armor now. Kinda don't care for knockback. That's decent. Trap this arm chance and add. Okay, I actually like this helmet now. That's definitely a key. Uh, let's compare chest plate here. So that's already higher armor and better, actually better almost everything. So far, that's good. This is also good, but this has another prefix. So this can be scrapped. And this is basically just the other one. I'm just gonna scrap this one. But these two right here, I think are upgrades. And I don't think I'm even going to reroll them because I'm pretty happy with the plus three health and this one as well i think it's actually perfect as it is so old armor goodbye served me well but uh you are being replaced actually not even going to enchant it oh i love the look of this <laughs> Wow, that looks sick. Also, time for a nap. All right, that was a lot of work. Now, I want to continue on because we have just made the identification stand, which is done. We complete that and we get some... Oh, wait a minute, level 19 stuff. Hold up. Uh, yeah, it's not really... This doesn't really beat what I just have gotten. So, thank you, questline. But yeah, to this you go. All right, so that was a lot of stuff. However, we are not quite done because we have three unspent skill points and we only have a little bit left in terms of... Uh, of leveling up. So I think what I'm going to do is make a couple of vault burgers, which I think you do like this. Um, so that should be 26. I just use all the vault cheese that I have. And we're gonna eat these and hopefully, hopefully this is going to be enough. Three, two, one, <laughs> level 20. <laughs> which also gives us an unspent uh, expertise point. This also means that vaults no longer will have beginner's grace. So uh, that's gonna be fun to go into. But let us now take a look at this. Using knowledge. Obtaining and using 
Testing knowledge starts as one of the key aspects to the Vault Hunter's progression as it is the key component to unlocking new mods by pressing the A key and selecting the research. Yeah, we've done all that. Your reward for this quest is a mod box. When you use the mod box rewards a random item from your unlock mods. Okay, so craft a knowledge star, which is exactly what I actually want to do next. Because we have 25 knowledge shards right here. I don't think we have any more uh, knowledge assets, so that's fine. Which means we can go ahead and we can craft three extra knowledge stars. And we already have one laying right here. Oh. Well, I mean, I suppose I'll, I'll take it now, but uh, hold on. The, too fast. I'm just going to make a bunch of these extraordinary Laramar. We have plenty of Laramar to go around. We then go ahead and do this, and that's not how you do it. Oh, right. <laughs> Wrong jam. We need to turn this into extraordinary Benutites. There we go. I'm so dumb. There we go. Three cores, and now we can go ahead and do this. Boom. Four Nolly Stars, of which I'm going to take them all. Now, just before we move on, this is actually quite relevant. Uh, level 20 changes. The grind to level 20 marks some pretty noteworthy changes to the game. After level 20, you will begin to start seeing new tiers of mobs in the vaults that are higher threats than their previous tier. You will also no longer have beginner's grace, which means that if you die, you will now be sent a spirit which can be revived. And we already reached this, so we can actually complete and get another free knowledge star. So there we go. We now have five on spent knowledge points. 10 orbs of regret. Not bad. We have 26 in total. Now, this is probably something quite useful to make. The spirit extractor is used to recover loot lost within the vaults. If you die, pick up your spirit by uh, sneak right clicking it and placing it into the extractor by right clicking it. This will give you a price in vault gold that you will receive that you will have to pay in order to receive your items. So I don't know how expensive the thing is, the spirit extractor. Oh, yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> uh, how about we make that when we actually need it? We'll keep it up here for now. I mean, I haven't died yet, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We don't need to continue forward as of right now. However, this has now unlocked. It means we can now make some new tools, which I think it's time to. We've been running with the chromatic iron cutter and the chromatic iron sickle for a while now, and I think it's time to make something new. You see, I have these jewels right here. We have an 11 size living affinity, which is absolutely amazing. Now, the next thing I want is gilded affinity. We have some pretty big ones, which we can try and cut down if possible. But other than that, the best one we have is, is a size 35. Now, wooden affinity is also great. This is 36, 71. Again, we can try and cut some of these down. I'm not interested uh, in them anyway because of their big size. So, uh, cutting them down is something we might as well do. And if they crash, they crash. Ooh, 10 gilded affinity. Ooh, wooden affinity and mining speed. That's actually not bad. What I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the cutting right now. I'll do that some other time. This jewel, actually. Axing plus ornate affinity plus hammer size. Ooh. Otherwise, we have a 28 affinity. Uh, 11, 28, that is 39, 49. We could get everything on one tool. 10, that's 38, and then 11, so that is 49, plus 34. Uh, that is then 79, 83. And we would need to have a pickaxe then, which will give picking, and then we could get axing. This is potentially doable. Get one tool that will do everything. However, I'm also considering this 30 size. That would take away ornate and axing. That is 28 plus axing, so that is combined. That would result in 42. However, this is 38. So that I think is better. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to put anything else on, I don't think. But I think this is pretty good. So it looks like that I need to apply some more driftwood. Woototic mass. What on earth is that? That's interesting. Good thing I'm getting wood to die gem from this. Oh, look at the sun rays. That's sick. That, that requires a screenshot. That requires a screenshot. Boom. Background for the thumbnail or something. Uh, oh, we have plenty here. Perfect. And I just grab on this and do this. Uh, there we go. Uh, a ton of driftwood and chromatic steel and an app. Add everything to this, which will now allow us to craft a chromatic steel pickaxe. Look at this. Level 20 capacity is actually 150. Ooh, and already nine mining speeds. Uh, that's not bad. Okay, so if we go then to this and add this, we should be able to add living. Uh, gilded affinity. Ooh, we need coin affinity, but this is sick. We have capacity of 58 remaining. However, coin affinity looks to be... Yeah, yeah, I only have two of them, but I don't dare cut cutting this any uh, down any further. So I think I'm just going to add that. However, do I want only one tool of the job, though? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> 
Okay, so we have 31 capacity remaining. We could either hop on in an extra mining speed, which this is actually pretty decent. Um, we could also add durability potentially if we have something like this that is kind of small because the next tier items uh, is going to be level 35, which I assume this will fit nicely with. Um, that adds capacity three. However, mining speed improves significantly. Plus it has repair slots as well. That's going to be our new tool, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be our new tool. I think I'm happy with this. This, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I, I, need, I need to give this a name. I need to give this a name. Yep, which is exactly what you should be doing if you're enjoying this video and haven't subscribed yet. Also, leaving a like greatly helps out the channel. Anyway, with this new tool done, I actually need to go back up and get my emeralds because we need to get efficiency five, unbreaking, and do I want silk touch or fortune? I think actually silk touch would be better and then fortuning the ores when we get to the overworld. I think that's what I'm going to do instead. Yes, there we go. So now we have the subscribe pickaxe which has all of those things right there efficiency 5 on 3 and still touch i love it and we don't we don't even need the sickle anymore we can we can add that to that and wow i am happy but we have unspent skill points unspent expertise point and five unspent knowledge points which the expertise point we're going to be using right off that which is upgrading the bounty hunter so we can get it to level three so we can have two active bounties at any given time next i want to take a quick look at some of the abilities that we have we could upgrade some of our uh, current ones However, there are some that I think could potentially be interesting. We could upgrade healing, for example. We could uh, upgrade the Avalon. Oh, never mind. It's fully upgraded. But we have something like Stonefall, which reduces the fall damage when landing while active and knocking uh, bad mobs in a radius. That kind of cool. Instead of using the water bucket, fireball. Sounds a magic fireball to hit your foes afar. That sounds cool. But we also have stuff in here. Like we can upgrade the damage and we also have strength, haste, which I think because we have four, I'm going to do a little bit of everything. We're going to Learn one piece in uh, haste, I'm going to upgrade strength, and then I think upgrade damage of the javelin, and then uh, charging no mana for the throw would be good. But I feel like I want to take some extra. You know what? Let's get haste tier two. Actually, no, I want to upgrade. Can I upgrade either heal or dash? Yeah, I'm upgrading dash to level three. Nice. Now, here comes the difficult part of spending the knowledge points because I really want botany. However, it's four research points. And even when we do get uh, botany parts, there are two different kinds. There are the botany part and then there is the hopper botany part. Botany part itself is fairly okay to make. It's a bit expensive, but in order to really automate it, we need this, which is extremely expensive to add a hopper to it so we can actually hopper things out of it. I assume that's how it works. Like we can place a chest under it. And also, not to mention, if I do take that, everything else it gets increased by 12, which is fine. I just don't know if I want to use four on botany parts just yet. I have other possibilities like getting into drawers, but I don't think I'm there just yet. Could unlock a power mod. But again, I don't feel like that's where I'm at at the moment. We also have things like waystones and elevators, alchemy, but I'm not really using potions that much. Create is only one knowledge point away, actually. I can get thermal expansion. Ooh. But again, I got these points fairly quickly, so I'm not really bothered about uh, focusing on some of the bigger stuff. I'd rather get some small things here and there. But I need to test botany. I need to. I need to think about botany parts for a second. Right. I, I think I know stuff. From my understanding, if you use the normal, aka the cheaper version of the botany part basically it's not automatable like the the graph the crops grows and then stops until you manually actually harvest it which i'm not really a fan of at least that's what i've been seeing however the hopper botany part is automatable because of their hopper and such so that's something like i don't have that much black opal i would be able to make like like two i would be able to make like one of these so that's not really viable plus i'm not really at the stage where i need a super farm this is good enough for now and again knowledge points i could get them fairly quick. So I think I'm going to unlock double pouches. I don't think. I just did. Uh, ability to craft belts, which offers more story space than double pouches. I don't think that's needed right now. We could unlock the soul harvester, which is a tear off from the uh, vault soul diffuser. But again, that's, yeah, it's that's expensive. Not, not, not doing that. And in order to make stack upgrades, I actually need to get this. I think I'm going to take it because it is something that I think I want to make more of. Currently, only one of these has a, st a stack upgrade, and I made this before. Was 
was locked behind a, uh, a research. So I think I'm gonna get stack upgrades and then I'm gonna get waystones. Yeah, I got waystones. And it should be fairly achievable to actually craft this, not too expensive. This just allows me to start putting waystones around in my in my world where it's just annoying to get to like different nether biomes, for example. Just a thought. But with the double pouches, I think I want to go ahead and make an extra one because that would mean I would have technically four pouches, but in two slots. Me likey. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna have to rearrange every single item. Oh well, that's what it takes. All right, so just like that, we have another pouch and I suppose I'll use the one that is actually empty, this one. And with that, we can make a double pouch, which is of course much bigger and just requires one pickup upgrade. And ooh, it saved that really good. And these two, yeah, they're, they're gonna go. I don't know if they will remember their filtering or not, but here it goes. <laughs> oh, oh, it does remember at least one of them. Uh, But I think, ooh, look at this. I can actually scroll between the two and I can apply them if I wish. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to start off uh, from scratch because when I made the other two settings, things like scaffoldings and whatnot and stick was still a thing. So I think I'm going to start off fresh here. Oh, I kind of forgot I added stuff to my shock box. What? Well, I mean, I won't complain. Got some jewels, which are okay, I guess. Ooh, the last bounty. Oh yeah, I got this. Use of the bounty table to acquire a legendary bounty. Right, uh, item submission, submit one diamond horse armor for this? For that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Seriously? That was okay then. I I won't complain. Wow. Uh, I mean, I don't care for the axe whatsoever, but I mean, all this stuff is good. This fundamental focus can be used to modify Valkyr, reforge all implicits. This is expensive to make. That's amazing. That was a lot better than I expected it to be. And these boots are more armor, but not as good. Yeet. Right, so now with both double pouches ready, I think I'm ready to enter a vault. That is once we craft a crystal. I just kind of forgot that heart. And that is because I really want to see how it is to battle or enter a level 20 vault. Uh, that's a problem. I don't have that much copper. I do have these guys though. All I'm needing now is some flowers and copper. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did a dumb. Forget about the flower. I, I did something really dumb. I think I did something really dumb. <laughs> when I merged the two pouches at the end, I forgot to take out the stack upgrade. No. <laughs> uh, stupid, stupid me. Um, right. Well, I think I got a little traffic to do. Oh, well. Um, I'm gonna place these here for now and I'm gonna get the flowers. Oh, these don't count. Apparently it wants regular flowers. Seriously, tulips don't... Ugh. Fine. How hard can it be to find some dandelions? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. This better work. Good, good. And perfect. Now I just need copper and I think I know where to get some. There has to be copper somewhere around this giant cave. One stack and 17 should technically do for now. And uh, there we go, final copper ingot. And the crystal is being crafted. And this will be our first above level 20 vault. I'm so excited. I'm gonna add it to here, but I'm not going to go through just yet because I'm going to take this ingot and then I'm going to finally make the last stack upgrade tier and apply it to each one of these pouches. Now tier two would be really cool, but actually it's it's expensive, but it's, uh, it's expensive, but it's, oh, that's chromatic eye block. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> right, let's get our pouches. Just saying, it would be really cool if the CR pouch fit fitted in like the backpack lot or something. That would be awesome. And I think, yeah, you can actually add one of the double pouches as your backpack. Ooh, might need to do that. Anyway, we need to we need to do this now. Are we ready? I don't know. But here we go. Uh, no blocks. Missing blocks. I don't really need blocks to mark my way. I just needed to be able to pillar. All right, here we go. Level 20. No more beginner's grace. I'm scared. Champions abode. 10 plus percent chance for champions to spawn. Oh boy. And I don't think I've actually been in this theme before. Oh boy. Well, let's get to it. Uh, I, I don't think those are supposed supposed to happen. Okay, that, that's a lot. Uh, we'll ignore that. I'm gonna take, hello. I'm gonna take this vault run very, very slowly. Gonna enable the magnet and, oh, that's so fast. That's like so fast. We broke that super, super fast. Yeah, we're gonna ignore, we're gonna have to ignore those blocks. Um, obviously a bug. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this very slowly here because, um, champions spawn and I don't want to actually do something I would later regret. Hello. These guys are fast. Ooh, they hit hard as well. Ooh, I don't know if I like this. That's trap. Oh yeah, and, it, and it's an elixir vault. Something I learned from watching Iskel's latest video, at least that's how I'm calling this. You can you can hold down, right click here, and then the compass is now pointing to this place. So, because this is what I want to get to when I want to leave this room. Oh, ice bear, polar bear. Ice, did I just call it an ice bear? Uh, polar bear. No poison. These guys are fast, actually. Hello. There's a secret room in here. Okay. Uh, you're tough. Ooh, living chests. Oh wait, that's a, that's 
an entrance here? Oh, I didn't even notice. But look at this. Boom, boom, and boom. So fast, so much more efficient. I love it. All right. Oh, that's evil adding these berries around. Berry bushes. That's very evil. Oh, hey, my javelin is doing a lot of damage now, I feel. A lot more than it used to. Here, mobs around, and I don't like it. Well, let's mine the ores. I mean, oh yeah, I'm mining the, the actual ores now. I don't fortune. That's right. No champion yet. Yeah, it definitely takes a lot longer to get the elixir required, which I actually do like because before it was very easy to get all the elixir that you that you needed. Ooh, champion. Hello. I don't want to fall down there. That's for sure. Easily enough. Unidentified vault shield. Today we have become upgraded. Today is a day of upgrade. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. I think I'm just really quickly going to disable my magnet and use a little bit of time removing some of these unnecessary blocks because I don't want that getting picked up in the system if I can avoid it because that makes it a lot easier to just say, hey, we're gonna just keep this and then boom, save the slot. Hello. Oh, what? Oh, skeleton. Hold up. Hold on. There is a skeleton back there. Yep, he's dangerous. He did a lot of damage. Can I loop around? somehow ignore this champion for a second i have slowness why do i have slowness that's really really unfortunate uh dealing with a skeleton okay you fell down doesn't help me whatsoever right now Oh, oh, God. oh yeah, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. The thorns got him, though. The thorns got him. Okay, just gotta take care of you. And boom. Oh, that was a little bit more challenging than I expected it to be. Okay, so tougher skeletons is something to keep an eye out for, I suppose. Tough skeleton. Sorry, polar bear. Not ice bear. Polar bear. Uh, oh, oh, you're tough. I don't think you're a champion. Don't have any icons, but you're tough. I actually haven't found another, what they call, thingamajingy to get me home. Ow, ow, ow. I hate those. Poor thingy. Away. Nice. Whee! Uh, hello? Has to be downstairs, right? Okay. Just don't want it all of a sudden coming out from behind, whatever it is. Imagine it's a champion and just two hit me or something weird. Get this stuff right here. And consumer lodestone. That's the name of it. Lodestone. Yeah, I knew that. I was just testing you guys down below in the comment. Oh, hi. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I thought you were potentially a bigger threat, but apparently not. And with this, the only downside of having point affinity on this is the fact that I accidentally break blocks that are around it, which uh, is a bit unfortunate. Ooh, get it, yes. 10 minutes remaining, though, and we are looking decent. 10 minutes remaining, though. Ah, see, here I can go ahead and just say, you know what, let's uh, point back to here. Nice. Got downstairs. Be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. All of you. Sorry, fellas. Sorry. Ooh, war area. Whoa, hello. That was not expected. Ooh, hi. Oh, that's it. Nope, nope, nope. Champion with bow. Champion with a bow. I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know that was possible. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. I can take you. Ow. Whoa. Bye. Ooh, that did like what? Three and a half hearts of damage? Yowza. Ooh, that was interesting and risky. Unpleasant <laughs> is the word. <laughs> Yikes. That was scary. Die, die, die. I mean, overall, we're not doing too bad. Hi, fellas. Don't mind if I do. This place looks cool. I want to get in. I don't know what deal is. Ooh. I was going to take that. Oh, that was, a, ooh, that was another entrance. <laughs> okay. Five minutes remaining. Ooh. Living area. Hello. Only two guardians. I will take it. Nice. 24 knowledge essence just from that? Wow. Hello or Nate. Hello, please. Go away. Bye. Thank you. Get all this. Yep, 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 yep. I like it. I like it. Bam, bam, bam. Yep, yep. Oh, hi. <laughs> bye, bye. Right. Three minutes left. I mean, it'll take me a minute max. Oh, that's that. Oh, no, my time. That's your time. And get that. Beautiful. What the? What are you? I mean, I know what you are, but uh, two minutes remaining. I kind of want to check out the other room. Just like the start of it, you know? Just because I'm curious nothing really accessible. I'm not gonna risk going to one of the other rooms, so instead, I'm gonna call that a pretty successful run. I just wanna check uh, if we have anything in here that's, yeah, yeah, we, that is not really welcome. <laughs> Overall, this is actually a fairly decent uh, organization. I just need to move some of this stuff around, and then we're pretty well settled. Overall, not too bad. I think I'm gonna call that a successful vault run. Not too bad. And we got 17,000 XP, looted 141 chests, and on live 224 <laughs> mobs. That is not too bad. Did I even complete this? Oh, that's like the monoliths. Right. And I think just right off the bat, I'm gonna place out. I'm gonna place these here and I'll sort that out
up off camera. We're currently level 21. Uh, let me just make that 22 because we're just that close. I, I can't resist not to do it. Come on, 22. Boom, just like that. Lovely. We'll go ahead and place the shop box here and place my vault things in there. And I do quickly want to check what we got in here. Mode of purity. Removes a random person from the vault. Oh, that sounds useful. Um, And it's actually not craftable. Yep, I'm going to get that just because I think it is actually going to be useful later on. And let me just quickly unlock this. Ooh, three interesting things. Some coins, some more orbs, a bunch of unidentified stuff. And now we'll go in here because I want to identify together with everything else. If there's anything else. Yep, there's this. And there's a shield and there's a sword. Right, we'll take a look at that at the end. But there we go. This is the loot that we got. Not too bad. A couple of ores here and there. We, I think we've done better. But overall, I think this is pretty decent when it comes to loot. I just need to go through this now, organize it so that we have everything set up so it goes into their dedicated slots. See you in a bit. Sorting has been done. The way I have organized them is one pouch is going to be for really interesting and cool stuff and I'll explain the stone in a second. And then the other one is for the more basic things like all these living rocks and vault suites and topaz shards, etc. Plus extra space for whatever extra blocks we may pick up. Now this one is going to be preserved for things that are really exciting like ores, these scrolls, uh, vault diamonds, catalyst fragments, which we actually got a few of, you know, knowledge essence, etc. And the stone is just there to block anything else from entering this pouch. So all I need to now do is go ahead and uh, select all slots and then save settings to slot one. And then I believe if I go down here and go to here, select all slots, save settings to slot two. There we go. And I should now be able to load those whenever I want. So I can now go ahead and let me just make sure that that, yep, that is as it should be. Nope, it is not. What did I do wrong? Select all slots, save settings to slot two. Perfect. So now when I take that out, as you can see, it is saved. So all of this stuff is the stuff that we got. Uh, we got some extra, like we did get some uh, some more driftwood and whatnot, but I just placed that away. But for the exciting things, we didn't get all that vault gold, but we did get catalyst fragments, which allow us to make a uh, vault catalyst, which does uh, show up later in the quest overview. We also got a couple of ore. So overall, not the best vault I've ever run. Also, not all of these blessings. Uh, ooh, also that's cool. Multiple of them, like one slot of blessing, like it, it's not dedicated to one type of blessing. That's really cool, actually. That's really cool. We also got our first dream stone, which can also be used to make catalysts, which again, I am excited to get to. So that is the double pouch done, and I should be able to go in and edit this down the road. At least I hope so, so I can add more things, because obviously we have more uh, all types than that. And we can go ahead and empty all of this stuff. Oopsie daisy. And all this can just be added just like that. And boom, hold up 24 bounce pearls. That kind of has to go down here, doesn't it? Yoink, we have 68. <laughs> I'm actually going to re-roll this one because, oh, interesting. One final look at the black market, nothing interesting. So guys, this episode has been a little bit jam-packed, but we have done a lot of progress. Speaking of which, we do have two unspent skill points, which I'm just going to put one into the damage of the uh, javelin because I'm using that a lot and making it ethereal charging no mana for the, for the throw is now 30%. I think that is worth it. So guys, with that said, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and enabling those notifications so you don't miss the next video. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.